Hello, my name is James Mayette, Senior Applications Engineer for Selway Machine Tool. Today's Ask an Apps Guy will be to how to set up a data server on a FANUC 31i control that we have here on our Matsura MX330. Before attempting to gain access to the electrical cabinet, you want to ensure that the power is off at the switch and also to at the main to prevent electrocution. The first thing we want to do here is identify the Ethernet connection. Most machines will have two. The onboard Ethernet and the data server Ethernet connection. Today we're going to be working with the data server Ethernet connection, which is this one here. You can see it's plugged into a slot in, in, uh, in the control. This is the, uh, this is the control. We're going to take our Ethernet connection and plug it into plug it into the port. You can hear it click. You want to make sure that it's a uh, solid connection. Once it's in there, then we can close the control cabinet and we can begin the power up and setup sequence. Once we've established that the connections are correct in the back, we now turn the control on and we wait, up, wait for the boot up process to, uh, to complete and then we, be, then we can begin the setup process. On Matsuras, with the iHMI control interface, there's a couple of steps that we need to go through before we can uh, gain access to the parameters and data server setup. First, we have three tabs. We have running, setup, and maintenance. First thing is we go to the maintenance tab. Next, we have to change the password so that we can gain access. So we press the password button and we see access level change. So we'll press the access level change soft key and the password is customer. see the current access level change to user. Now, we'll put the machine in MDI mode. And we're going to go to the setting icon. This will allow us to go to the parameter right enable page. So right now it's a zero. We're going to set it to uh, 1, so we'll press 1 and input, and you'll see that the alarm light begins to flash, and it says parameter enable switch on. Next we have to go to the data server setup screen. So we're going to press the uh, plus soft key here, until we find Ethernet. Now on that same menu there's going to be three. Embedded port, PCMCIA LAN, or Ethernet. Ethernet is the one that we want to configure. So we'll press the Ethernet. And we have three soft keys here. Common, Focus 2, and Data Switch. First step is to set up the Common. On the common, there is a MAC address, that's the address that's assigned to that card. The IP address that we're going to use to set up the connection with our internal network to, uh, to this machine. You may need to get with your IT person in order to get a, an IP address that will uh, work for, for 
of this uh, setup and connecting your machine to your network. So I'm going to add the IP address. type in an IP address, it's going to tell you that the power must be off. We can complete the setup procedure before we need to power this down. Subnet mask. Router IP address. this page so we'll press the page down hard key or arrow down we'll put in our DNS IP if we need to and the host name this is the name that your network would see if you choose to gain access that way. So after we've done with these two pages, we will do the left arrow soft key. And now we go to the data server soft key. the ability to connect to different FTP sites or workstations from the CNC to somewhere on your network. Uh, this is optional. This is not required in order to communicate with your machine. So we're, we're not going to do that. So I'm going to page up to page 7 of 8. Page 7 is the username and password that you're going to use to gain access to this machine. Username I'm going to make it the same model as our machine MX-330 and our password is going to be the same. see here that we've got our username and password. Now we go page down one more. If we wanted to allow the machine to go out and talk to the network, this is the login folder that it would go to should we choose to. We're not gonna we're not gonna set that up as it's not required for this exercise. This part is complete. Now we will reboot the CNC. Press the e-stop and power off button. And it will continue the reboot sequence. Once the boot up process is complete, now we will begin the PC side of the setup. So now we need to go get some FTP software so that we can communicate with our CNC. So we'll open up our browser. I use FileZilla. I'll go to the FileZilla web, web page and what we want to do is go to the download FileZilla client page. The CNC machine is the server so we don't need that. What we need is the client. So We go to the client and I prefer to go to the 
show additional download options page that gives me different uh, downloads depending on what uh, machine what computer that I'm going to be installing the software on so I've got uh, Windows 64 bit that's the one that I'm gonna select so it asked me uh, to save the file I'll do that I'll save it to my downloads folder now I'll open up my downloads folder run the executable to install the software say yes agree I normally set it up for anyone who uses the computer next uh, I like a desktop icon so I'll turn that on say next send it to the default location and install click finish and the software is installed before I go into FileZilla to connect to the machine I like to run the ping utility from the command prompt to uh, test connectivity so I'll go down here to the search bar type in C M D and select command prompt and I'll type in the word ping space the IP address for my machine and enter and we can see that it shows it gets a reply so we know the connection is good now we can continue so here's FileZilla, very simple. I can go to the site manager and create a machine configuration, or if I just want to do something quick and dirty to see what is installed in the machine, I can go type in the host, which is our IP address for our CNC machine. 192. 168, 105, 23, username, mx-330, all uppercase, password, the same, and quick connect. I just click the OK and there we go. This is the contents of our data server. So we know the communication is clear and we can now transfer programs from our PC or laptop to the CNC machine. Thank you for joining us today on this edition of Ask an Applications Engineer at Cellway Machines.